Ferrari offers its buyers myriad customization options, but this choice is yours philosophy generally doesn't extend to power trends. And yet that's what we have with the introduction of the GTC4 Lusso T, which offers a twin turbocharged V8 rather than the GTC4 Lusso's naturally aspirated V12. The GTC4 Lusso, you'll recall, is an evolution of the pioneering Ferrari FF the 2012 model that brought a shooting brake body style and all-wheel drive to the four-place Ferrari Grand Touring car. The GTC4 Lusso massaged the styling, to pleasing effect, as well as other aspects of the car, but left the power rain layout alone. The Lusso T, which will be sold alongside the Lusso, uses Ferrari's twin-turbocharged 3.9-liter V8 seen also in the Portofino. The 488 GTB's 3.9-liter is slightly different, with a 1.0mm longer stroke. This isn't just an engine swap, however. The Lusso T also ditches the V12 car's complicated and unusual all-wheel drive system in favor of simpler, lighter rear wheel drive. The sum of those two changes results in a claimed weight loss of 121 pounds. As that reduction all comes off the front end, the rear weight bias increases to 54% from 53. Note that a Ferrari, even a GT like this one, is still a car you actively drive. There's no semi-autonomous, self-steering capability, there's no lane-keeping assist, no automated emergency braking, not even adaptive cruise control. Yet, despite the march of technology, this approach seems appropriate here. This Ferrari is a car you enjoy driving. But would you enjoy the V12 more? Perhaps. There is the compensating factor of the roughly $40,000 you'll save by Aki for the V8. But in the realm of $300,000 GTs, maybe that's not a good deal. We expect the savings of the company. Although we'll note the V8 is rated at 17 miles per gallon combined.